Hello. So I'm back to show you in the practical reality, how do you identify recruiters and headhunters on LinkedIn, on your target sector, target location, the recruiters and headhunters who probably want to hear from you. So I'm going to go into practical exercise. If you missed the previous video where I go into the mindset and, you know, how do we gain traction? You have the video available. Now it's going to be the practical exercise part two. Just before they forget, remember, I have a book called All the Secrets of Getting a New Job in Dubai Unleashed. Although it says Dubai, it's applicable any part of the world. You might get lots of good information in terms of how do you prepare for a job interview? Uh, what do you need to do with recruiters and headhunters? Uh, you have a lot of uh, uh, print screens in terms of how do you gain traction uh, and how do you approach people on LinkedIn as well? I'm writing a new book. It's going to get updated, but there are lots of benefits already in this one. Now let's go into practical exercise and how do you do this on LinkedIn? Here we go. Guys, pay attention with me. There are very small details who are make it to break. Just like the ruler, when you trace in the line, if you lift a little bit, at the end of the road, it's going to be totally different. So pay attention, pause it, review if you need it. Here we go. How do I use LinkedIn to identify a perfect pipeline of recruiters and headhunters when I possibly start gaining traction? Just remember, it's not one day. Every day exercise, keep moving, keep increasing your network. Here we go. Now we are on LinkedIn. You go inside of the search button and simply press enter. Click inside, press enter. Here we go. When I press enter, I want to also click people. By clicking people, you have 802 million people on LinkedIn. You have a huge CRM just have to benefit from it. So how do you do that? Well, remember today, we're gonna to identify staffing and recruiting uh, individuals uh, in a specific market. Let me get a market. Let's talk about UAE. As an example, you can choose any location. So let's get UAE for the example. All filters. So in all filters, you have lots of things, lots of options, industry. Now we're talking about staffing and recruiting. Later on, we go, I'm going to show you guys where you're going to enter the industries itself that you want them to be specialized on. For now, it's staffing and recruiting. Now, you also want to add job titles because you're going to get any kind of job title, any function if you only press staffing and recruiting. So who are we talking about? Important again, pay attention. Recruiter or, or Boolean search has to be capital letter. Because OR is part of a Boolean search, it's an automation tool. Uh, and forgive me if I'm using the wrong word, the tech guys, but it's the best way for me to express. You need to make sure the OR is capital, but anything else is going to be then in small caps. So then there is a proper formula when looking for specific functions. So recruiter or head hunter or uh, associate. Why? Because many times executive search firms who are more specialized in C-suite, they will call their recruiters associate consultants. Or one more, surprising for the few, researcher. Researchers usually are the titles of those who are researching for candidates. And many people don't know about that, especially when they work for executive search firms. So here we go. We got quite a few good titles. And you can always play around with those titles, but I guess this is good to start. So we're going to do short results. Now, in the UAE, within the staffing and recruiting, with those keywords, which is the title, who do you have? 757 results. In my case, based on my LinkedIn profile, you might have more, you might have less. Now we say, hang on, if you're going to go one by one, you're going to probably be spending a lot of time if we're talking about specific industry let's talk about consumer for the example so all you have to do is type on the top of the search button consumer now when you type consumer it will give you several suggestions from the drop down do not be tempted to pick here to click here because if you do it loses your search it messes up so all you have to do press enter at the end 
When you press enter, guess what? You have 26 results of a specific recruiters or headhunters or associate or researcher who are classified, who have classified themselves within the staffing and recruiting industry. So now you have to do what? Well, first of all, who is my first level connection? Do you know anybody directly? In case you do, just take a quick look first. Say, so, well, I have four results. So do I actually know any of them? And if I know any of them, oh my God, I met this person a few years ago. Let me drop him a note. Hey, Sergio, hope you're doing well. Look, we met some time ago. I'm not sure if you remember. I'd like to have a quick chat with you. Are you free? You know, because then if you know the person, you know the best way to approach. Now, if you say, well, I don't actually know those people, then they become strangers to you. However, you have the option to also look, who are your second level? So if you say, wait, second level means somebody in my first level is connected to them. So you can first reach out to the first level and say, hey, I have something to talk to you about because they are somebody that you know. They are your connections already. So go and talk to them, give them a call, drop a quick voice note on WhatsApp. Don't reveal the whole thing by written or by voice message. Just agree on a time to talk and then say, hey, I noticed you're connected to one of the headhunters on LinkedIn. This is the name of the person. I just want to know, do you actually know them? Because I'm trying to reach out to them. And if that person knows them, say, hey, how can you support me? What's the best strategy? What do you know about them? Let's try to leverage from the information they will give you. It could be that they say, hey, I know that person. It's my cousin. It's my friend. It's my best friend. Let me, let me ask him to talk to you or let me send your CV. So leverage from that connection that they have from your connection being a bridge to you to gain a potential referral to that headhunter. And if they say, sorry, it's just a connection on LinkedIn, no worries at all. Reach out as a stranger. But the very first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get any names here. Okay, so let's get any names. Let's get this one just for the exercise. And when I click here, I'm going to do an open on a new tab because I don't want to lose my entire search. You might even want to do a star, right? You want to save that list. But let's say for the sake of exercise, I'm going to click on this profile. And then as soon as I open this profile, I'm going to take a quick look. Is this person really working? It looks present. Is it somebody interesting for sure? Somebody key to approach. And how do we approach? Well, first of all, see if they are within the consumer for sure. If it was not something from the past. So take a look, read their profile, see where they are, uh, you know, where he's covering, which, which industries, which levels. And he even talks here about executive positions. So C plus. So if you are a C plus, fantastic for you. And they cover oil and gas. Consumer is here. So yes. If you are a C plus and if you are within consumer, that's it. You can already send him whether a request to connect or you can send an email because you are second level to him. By sending an email, you can say, you know, dear John, I hope you are well. I was browsing on LinkedIn and it happens to be that I saw that you are, you know, one of the top headhunters for, you know, a well-established headhunting firm. I always heard about you guys. And now it happens that I can help you out, uh, basically, two, three lines about you. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. You know, I come from consumer, 20 years, covering this, this, this rows in the 500 fortune companies. I'm sure we can help each other out. Uh, would you like to have a chat? I mean, there are, I'm just giving any brainstorming messages, right? There are several ways to write that message. Even if you watch my previous video, I said a little bit of another message, but it's all about you know, explain you why you're reaching out in a brief note and say, hey, should we have a chat, right? And of course, if, if this person is somebody who actually is recruiting, is doing executive search, you know, within the consumer and happens to be that, you know, he's covering, uh, you know, he looks at your profile and, oh, this person can help me out. That means, of course, he's going to want to talk to you. By the fact alone that you visit his profile it's already calling attention to you so that's that's why it's already a score by visiting profile so my recommendation going back to our list first identify do i know if i know go to them do i know anybody that they know that they can potentially first reach out and see if i can get referral from again don't be tempted to write everything in written to put everything in written only send a message to talk. You gain much more out of this. 
And if you say, no, it's a total stranger to me, what do you have to lose? Always think this way. Well, if I don't approach, I'm guaranteeing the no. If I approach, there is a maybe. So what is best? What is the best one? What is the better? What's better? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> What's better? Of course, the maybe, because maybe means it might become a yes. We're going to talk. We have an opportunity to discuss, right? So basically, this is how you're going to identify your list. Now you have a pipeline. If you are in consumer benefits from this list, if you are in consumer looking for a job in consumer in the UAE, benefit and basically just replicate this exercise. Um, and then the rest is history. Now keep an activity on LinkedIn, keep your visibility, keep making some noise and the noises, you know, comment, put a like, write something, uh, react to their post. So again, I'm gonna use another person. So let's say that you already have, you know, sent a request to connect to these people. And now you wanna just keep yourself on there rather and how do we do that? Well, let's use this example of this associate consultant. Any activities? Um, let's see, any activities. So when you look at the activities, uh, there is a like, there is a like, let's see if the person has anything, that any articles potentially. No, any posts. There is a post where, this is three months ago, also observed that, it would be very odd. If you're gonna put a like or comment, observe how long ago, very odd. So not a moment to react, to share, to put a like. But if it was something of a week or two weeks ago, you know what, put a like or write something that it will get attention. Literally, the purpose is you got attention to that recruiter. And they say, hang on, who's this person reacting to my post? That's, that's all you need. Because from the moment they are identifying, they're looking at your profile, by curiosity, who is checking me out, who's putting a like, who is reacting, guess what? They get to see everything about you. And if they have an opening at that moment in which you can be helpful to them, of course, they're even the ones reaching out to you, right? So it's a volume game and keep, keep reaching out, right? So here we go. I hope that was helpful. You can play around with this list over and over. You can change location. Uh, you can change uh, keywords if you like. You can you can even write consultant only. And uh, I, I want to talk to you about also reaching out to those job titles and not consultant. You know, but this is going to be a separate video because there's a lot of uh, taboos about you know this person is too junior. But guess who is going to give you attention? Who is has the job to fulfill roles in research for candidates? It's not going to be the consultant, the managing partner the shareholder the shareholder because they are too busy developing the business it's going to be the recruiters the headhunters the researchers those people really will give you attention if you reach out to them and if they are within your target if you have the experience in your profile that shows in your profile not that you just have and you keep for yourself in your cv but it shows in your profile on linkedin that they say whoa this person can help me out thanks god he appeared he knocked my door so I hope that was very helpful to you, that you had some fun with this exercise. And I look forward to hearing your comments, feedbacks, questions. Have a wonderful week ahead.